My name is Casey. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share some things that I've learned while my husband was away. He still is gone and he won't be home for a couple more months, but I figured since I've had a few months under my belt that I could just encourage some of you guys on what I've learned while he's been gone. So I thought of five things that I would share with you. The first thing I would do is get involved. So um, what I've been doing is getting involved in a small group and there are people that I met with at my church um, that we go to here that we meet I think it's twice a month yeah twice a month and I really enjoy that now none of their spouses are in the military but they're all um, most of them are parents and they're we're kind of all around the same age I mean obviously like I said they're you know their spouses aren't in the military but they're people that can encourage you and talk to you and um, just kind of just sit and listen to you and that is so nice to have and really I've made a lot of good friendships from doing that. Another thing I would do is volunteering whether that's at your kids school or your church whether that's serving um, with high schoolers or kids or um, anything like your local food bank or something like that just to stay busy and kind of get your mind off of being alone and the basic things that come to your head when you're just by yourself. Number two would be to start reading. Um, I have started reading, I would say since Steve left for basic training, um, I've always been interested in books, but it's hard for me just to sit down and read a book. And especially for being a mom, I hardly have time for doing that. So I've been listening to books on Audible and that has been so nice. Um, I mostly focus books on self-development and um, personal growth and just things along that line. Um, I'm really interested in your mental health and just anything that you can do to make yourself a better version of yourself. There's just so many things you can learn from reading a book, even if it's not anything but personal growth. If it's just something you like um, that interests you, definitely take that up. The third thing I would do is to set a goal and accomplish it, whether that is saving a certain amount of money or losing five pounds or like finishing a book, whether if you started a book and you haven't had time to finish it, if you start that book and you finish it, you've definitely accomplished a goal. It could be anything, and I think it is so nice to set that goal and have it accomplished so when your spouse comes home, you can encourage them that you did that for yourself and that you've grown so much from doing that. And maybe it's something that you can also incorporate in your house too, even if it's like having dinner um, at the table every night or having a self-pamper routine once a week or something that really helps you personally and motivates you to be a better version of you. I think that is so important because especially as a parent you get so wrapped up in your kids and what they need and what they want that you kind of forget about yourself and setting a goal for yourself and accomplishing it makes you feel so good and that is what we all need. The fourth thing I would do is exercise. Now, being a mom itself is a bunch of exercise because you're chasing after your kids and you're always up getting what they need and what they want and this and that. So I know that, you know, you're always active being a parent. But going on walks or kickboxing or doing yoga, I have loved, loved doing yoga um, since Dee has been gone. I feel like it's so good for your mind, body, and soul. And it's just calming and relaxing and it is a good workout at the same time. So definitely do some exercise even if it's 25-30 minutes a day. Um, my husband used this app called Couch to 5k. It's a really easy simple app to get used to and I think it's good for anyone. So that's definitely something to look into if you want to start exercising. The fifth thing I would do is to start journaling. Get a journal or a basic notebook around your house and just write anything that you have going on down. Just have a big brain dump of anything that is going on in your mind and in your head and something that happened that day or um, something that's just been really been on your heart or um, 
you know, your fears or your dreams or your goals or all these things, journal it. Write it down because when your spouse comes home, it's so nice to have something to go back and look at and just kind of go back into that mindset and say, wow, I have come so far since, you know, this time. I would encourage doing it at night because for me, my kids are asleep. No one else is around. No one else is really going to read your journal. And um, like I said, going back to that and thinking where you were from that point um, is really encouraging to keep moving forward. Okay, those are the five things that I have done while my husband has been away and it has really helped me and I hope it helps you guys too. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!